the 61st Superintendent of the U.S. Military Academy, Lieutenant General Steve Gillings. Alright, so uh, first of all, just uh, I know mean, Joe's role is back uh, backstage, but I mean, a little round of applause for Joe's role providing our team. Congressman McCall, Secretary Navy Del Toro, Secretary McDonald, Admiral Sean Hawkins, General and Heisman Trophy winner Pete Dawkins, right down here. And Master Henry Dawkins, General Sam Leslie, class of 1945, right over there. Distinguished guests, teammates, ladies and gentlemen, thank you and good evening. Sean, I know the team is still looking for the ice cream machines. They're trying to get the locks off the gates. It is an honor to be back in the city of brotherly love, or as our esteemed opponents call it, the final frontier. We are thrilled to be here for this annual Gridiron Classic. I'd like to offer sincere thanks to Mayor Jim Kenney from the city of Philadelphia for their continued outstanding hospitality and support. Thank you, sir. All right, so first of all, I don't think anyone here will mind, but we got a head start on the winning last week as our men's swim and dive team beat Navy for the first time in 32 years. So we got the, uh, we got the winning mojo flowing and we're ready to go tomorrow. So tomorrow is not just another football game, it's a fabled rivalry. One of the oldest in the nation. It's been called the shortest 60 minutes of football and a way of life. For me, it's been the longest 60 minutes, 60 minutes of my life over and over and over again. But for every coach and every player in our institutions who's competed in this rivalry since that first meeting on the plane at West Point in 1890, it's the entire season wrapped up in one game. And as they look forward to doing battle for the ultimate prize, the honor of singing second. Well, we've been getting our voices warmed up, practicing three hours to sing tomorrow, so is Navy. And during my recent visit down to the Naval Academy to do some uh, sailing, shall we say, I heard some midshipmen going over, to, going over the lyrics to Rocket Man. That was supposed to be fun here, man. Now, in all seriousness, I know we can appreciate Navy's uniform theme this year, honoring the brave men and women who boldly gone where no one has gone before. So let me take a moment and introduce you to some of them. Like the first American to walk in space. The first American to walk in space, Ed White, West Point graduate. The, the first astronaut to orbit the moon, Frank Borman, Wade Mitchell, another West Point graduate. How about this, Buzz Aldrin, First service academy grand to walk on the moon, where'd he go? Now I know Navy claims Neil Armstrong, but in actuality, he went to Purdue. Okay, okay, so some recent astronauts. We got Drew Morgan, Shane Kimbrough, Frank Rubio, Ian McLean, all from? Now, let's not forget, the president who established the Civilian Space Agency, and then in 1958 signed the act created NASA, Dwight D. Eisenhower, I, Army General, West Point graduate, class of 1915, and Army football player. Yeah. In fact, hold on a second. I'm getting word right now that a few of our astronauts up in the International Space Station are trying to dial in and say hello. Say hello.
Old Ironsides was the first American Army Division to see combat during World War II. And since then, whether on the beaches in Northwest Africa, the front lines of the Cold War, or the deserts of Iraq and Afghanistan, the Iron Soldiers of the First Army Division have inspired us with their courage and spirit, their discipline and toughness, and their devotion to duty and legacy of excellence. And tomorrow, as your brave old Army team takes the field to beat NASA, excuse me, I mean beat Navy, they will carry that legacy of excellence with them and inspire you with their grit, tenacity, and their will to win. Tomorrow is also more than a game. More than two rivals slugging it out for the ultimate bragging rights. It's a celebration of service, of what makes our nation great, and what it makes what right looks like. Tomorrow, these outstanding men and women from both academies will inspire all of America with their commitment to selfless service as they have prepared to assume a mantle of leadership as the next generation of leaders of our armed forces, America's team. So as America's team is prepared to stand shoulder to shoulder in harm's way to support and defend our Constitution and ready to fight and win when our nation calls. Tomorrow is more than just a game, it's America's game. And our Army team is ready to win and we will accept nothing less than complete victory. Thank you all for being here. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Good luck, Sean, today in the Naval Academy.